Specialty bullets for the battlefield. Bullets, they've been used for centuries, but only recently have they been developed to be more than just a metal projectile shot from a firearm. Advances in technology have led to the creation of numerous deadly bullet designs, including homing bullets that can track targets from hundreds of yards away, full metal jacket bullets that can penetrate the toughest of surfaces, incendiary bullets that ignite on contact, and armor-piercing bullets that remain intact as they cut through a target. These specialty bullets have transformed the battlefield, making it more dangerous than ever for soldiers. Each bullet was created for a unique purpose and addresses a specific need, so here are some of the most interesting bullet designs. Square Bullets Back in the year 1718, James Puckle, an English lawyer, writer, and inventor, made history by developing and patenting a rapid-fire weapon called the Puckle Gun. This revolutionary firearm was also the first of its kind to shoot square bullets. But why were the bullets square in the first place? Well, the answer lies in the design of the Puckle Gun itself. As a manual crank-operated flintlock with a revolving cylinder, its speed could be increased far beyond the slow rate of traditional flintlock weapons. With the Puckle Gun, it was possible to fire nine rounds per minute, far faster than the two round per minute rate of the muskets at the time, making it a forerunner of the modern machine gun. But the square bullets were more than just a means of increasing the rate of fire. Puckle was a devout Christian and described his invention as a defense gun, which could be used to defend Christianity against its enemies. In order to make this message more powerful, he designed the gun to fire square bullets when used against the Ottoman Empire, whose forces were still seen as a threat at the time. The square bullets were intended to cause more damage upon impact, and because of the edges in the shape of them would be more likely to go through a soldier's armor. Unfortunately, Puckle's revolutionary weapon failed to impress the British Navy, and he was unable to attract enough investors to finance the production of the guns. Despite this failure, the Puckle gun remains an important part of firearm history, as it was the first to shoot square bullets. So the next time you see a round bullet, think of Puckle and his revolutionary weapon, and the square bullets that could have been. Full Metal Jacket an FMJ, or Full Metal Jacket Bullet, is a type of projectile used in firearms. As the name implies, these bullets are encased in a hard metal jacket, usually made of copper or some other durable metal. The jacket helps the bullet retain its shape as it passes through the air and also helps to protect against rust and corrosion. FMJ bullets are designed for maximum penetration and are typically used in target training as the sound they give off when contacting a metal surface is very pronounced. Thanks to the hard metal jacket, FMJ bullets can travel through most barriers, such as walls and auto glass, before reaching their intended target. This means that one has to be careful when firing the bullet at soft tissue, because the bullet will likely continue through the target and hit whatever's on the other side. The hard metal jacket also helps to keep the bullet from deforming when it impacts the target, which can help reduce the amount of tissue damage caused. This makes FMJ bullets a good choice when accuracy and penetration are the primary concerns. However, the jacket can also be a disadvantage because it prevents the bullet from expanding inside the target, which can lead to less severe wounding and possibly fail to disable the target. This can also be an issue in hunting applications where a bullet needs to cause maximum damage to the target. Overall, full metal jackets are incredibly useful and versatile projectiles, ideal for a variety of applications. They offer excellent accuracy and penetration, while still keeping tissue damage to a minimum. Do you like goats? What about guns? What about simple history? Well, if you answered yes to any one of those questions, keep watching. Goat guns make your arsenal bigger without taking up much extra space. Authentic and historically accurate, and these meticulously detailed die-cast guns feel like the real deal. Just in miniature. Everything's better in miniature. Well, nearly everything. Build your favorite gun like this AR-15, complete with working parts. Just look at this tiny little sight. It's like having history in the palm of your hand, but it doesn't shoot projectiles. But everything feels incredibly realistic with mini racks to store your arsenal, customizable parts, and even little bullets. If you spend over 100 bucks, they even throw in one of the racks for free, which you'll definitely need. Whether you're planning to fight off hordes of mini zombies, scare off your tiny enemies, or just decorate your home, these one-third scale replicas are the way to go. Pick your favorite from history, grab your teeny accessories, and have a little fun. Support Simple History by clicking the link 
link in the description below to get your GOAT gun today. Homing bullets. These are the stuff of science fiction, or at least they used to be. Thanks to the research of the U.S. Department of Defense research agency, DARPA, they are now a reality. These bullets are designed to maneuver themselves in flight to hit moving targets from long distances. The Exacto, or Extreme Accuracy Tasked Ordnance, is a 50 caliber round used in long-range sniper rifles and machine guns. It uses a real-time optical guidance system to identify a target and track it in its sights. It also has an onboard mechanism that compensates for weather, wind, target movement, and other factors to correct the course of the round with each shot. These bullets take out a lot of the human intuition connected to making a shot and can hit a target from hundreds of yards away, even if the shooter is a novice. DARPA's goal has been to shrink the guidance system and flight mechanisms into a tiny package so that homing bullets could be produced for ammunition of all calibers. If this technology ever gets out of the lab, soldiers could be armed with these rounds, increasing their safety and effectiveness during conflicts. Homing bullets are only part of DARPA's smart weaponry. They're also developing swarming drone technology and an unmanned vessel that can track enemy submarines. All of this is pretty awesome, but let's hope humans find a way to resolve their differences peacefully before this technology is put to use. Incendiary Rounds Incendiary bullets, or smoke tracers as they were once called, were first used in World War I in 1916. These bullets contained a phosphorus charge that would ignite upon firing, creating a trail of blue smoke. While deadly, their effective range was only about 350 yards. They were used against zeppelins, non-rigid observation balloons, and other targets. During World War II, incendiary bullets became the preferred ammunition for interceptor fighters. They were not as effective at puncturing bomber aircraft as armor-piercing bullets, but they were far more effective at setting fire to fuel tanks and fuel lines. A Belgian inventor created a new incendiary bullet design that was purchased by the British Air Ministry in 1938. This bullet was packed with nitrocellulose and had a steel ball on the tip to ensure that it would explode upon impact. It became known as the 303 Incendiary B Mark VI. In 1940, they were tested operationally in the Hawker Hurricane and Supermarine Spitfire during the Battle of Dunkirk. The explosive power and flash on impact made them highly valued by pilots. The U.S. also adopted a version of the B Mark VI, simplifying it for both the 30 and 50 caliber aircraft bullets. Some explosive projectiles, such as high-explosive incendiary rounds, contain an incendiary charge that's designed to ignite explosives within the shell. Tracer bullets can also have a mild incendiary effect, although they aren't intended to start fires. Incendiary bullets are a prime example of how fire can wreak havoc on enemy units and be used to devastating effect. Armor-piercing rounds. These are another type of special bullet designed to penetrate ballistic armor and protective shields. Unlike regular bullets, which are designed to expand upon impact and cause damage, armor-piercing bullets are designed to remain intact as they pass through the target. They are typically made of hardened steel, tungsten or tungsten carbide, and encased in a copper or copronical jacket. The pointed tip of the bullet helps it to penetrate the armor, while the jacket helps to cushion the impact and keep the bullet from shattering. Armor-piercing bullets are used for a variety of purposes, mainly for military and law enforcement operations. As the name implies, they are most effective against armored foes, such as those wearing body armor or carrying a shield. They are also useful for penetrating thick materials such as metal, concrete, and brick. When it comes to rifle and handgun cartridges, armor-piercing bullets are designed to work best at high velocities. This is because the longer gun barrel gives the propellant more time to ignite before the bullet exits the barrel, resulting in a higher muzzle velocity. The same cartridge fired from a handgun will typically have a lower velocity due to the shorter barrel length. Basically, armor-piercing bullets are a special type of bullet designed to penetrate ballistic armor and other thick materials. Bullets have evolved significantly over the centuries, with modern technology enabling manufacturers to create weapons that are more powerful and accurate than ever before. From homing bullets that can track targets to incendiary bullets that ignite upon contact, these specialty bullets have transformed the way people fight wars and have made the battlefield even more dangerous for soldiers. Despite the destruction these bullets can cause, they are essential for protecting our freedom and safety. 
As long as bullets remain part of warfare, advancements in their designs will continue to be made.